How y'all doing today? So we're over here uh, in Mill Springs, North Carolina, and uh, we got done doing a job. Uh, I should have taken a bunch of video, a bunch of footage before and after. I really got to start getting better at doing that. But anyways, uh, this is my Kubota uh, KX44. Uh, I like this machine. Um, I see a lot of people, they use those cheap binders, those flop binders. Um, they're good, uh, but they're dangerous. Uh, I highly recommend spending the money, even if you only use them every once in a while. I highly recommend spending the money on that. My next ones, I think, are, they have this new style where you uh, hold a bit driver and it sucks it up. So, I'm thinking about going to that one, but yeah. Uh, this is my Kaufman trailer. I did a review on it. Um, the only thing I'm not happy with is I've had to replace two hubs. Uh, and I, I'm a maintenance junkie. Uh, maybe a little on the eccentric side. But uh, I've had to replace two hubs. Uh, I almost flipped my trailer one time. Uh, it totally freaked me out. And I'm always checking, you know, the lug nuts and stuff like that. And uh, But this is how you should do an excavator. Properly tie it down. Four chains. Four individual chains. Um, to my fellow guys out there, I've been doing it longer than I have. I've been using some lubrication, not like WD-40, but I need something better than what I've been using on my binders. But I just can't seem to keep them uh, lubed up good. So uh, this is my Kubota right there. See, I have individual chains on each one of them. But something happened to my other one. I had four like that. Uh, it's a good machine. Uh, I've, uh, next, definitely will buy a 57 or a 55 next. Uh, I'll probably trade, try to trade this one in and go after that one. Uh, it's been a great machine. Don't get me wrong. I love the Kubota. Um, Kaufman trailer has been good. Uh, my next one... Uh, the one thing I am going to do to this trailer eventually is uh, I'm putting, I'm going to take this off and get a battery operated uh, thing here. At the same time, I'm going to do a winch right here and have a winch on it. So if we ever have to pull something up on the trailer, I'm going to get that hooked into it too. So uh, this is my USA attachment. And to be honest, I'm not crazy about it. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, anyways short video my short video was actually for ratcheting binders i see a lot of people that use a single chain and one binder uh i don't know about all 50 states but i'm almost positive all 50 states for dot is uh individual chain individual binder on each side right here and then individual uh i use a chain on my boom um Somebody said to me one time that there is a hookup right there. Somebody told me one time that if I was to go uh, on like a long, I'd have to chain it from there in the center point, not the side. Uh, somebody, just, you know, like and subscribe and tell me if I'm wrong or right, but, you know, I don't know. So, anyways, uh, y'all be safe. Talk to you later.